piece you did in bronze, yes? This bronze, uh, completed it in 1993, the year he died. I've got all three of them in the camera. These, these uh, pelicans were inspired by my bird watching at uh, St. Pamela Dam Reservoir, and there's white pelicans. Fantastic animals, very large and graceful. And what they do when they're not swimming and flying and eating is they preen. They preen all the time. And they're, because they have such long beaks and long necks, they get into the most ridiculous, funny shapes. And so these shapes inspired me to make a group of them. There are three, there's a fourth one that's. A wax, wax stage now. And these are cast in bronze, right? Cast in bronze. They were originally made in plasticine. And uh, plasticine, uh, some of their eyes are those kind of uh, shaky eyes in the craft store. In the plasticine. Yeah, in the plasticine. That's really beautiful. That's yeah. the best shot I got of that one. And when they go under their wing, it's just bizarre. I had the good fortune of watching a pelican feed down at the Berkeley oh, Marina. You were me that. And their neck was just like some kind of webbing that oranges comes through, except more solid. Yeah. And the fish would go down, and you could just see it completely stretch out to accommodate the size of the yeah. fish. Yeah. It's amazing. It's a Steve the Stabler's, um, he would bring a lot of his various bits and pieces of bronze work. And assemble them, you know, collage them together once he was, once they were cast in bronze. And I did this piece one, one weekend, uh, I climbed up on a 20 foot rack and with a big uh, drawing, drawing board and, and uh, leaned over and drew this picture. And I knew he was going to change it around on Monday, so I had to, I had to do it in, I hit it in about 16 hours. And uh, it was a real, it was a real test for me. It looks pretty good. Uh, yeah, yeah, we do some enlarging. That's um, that's actually done. Uh, it we usually send it out, and it's uh, it's done with um, foam that's milled to to a larger size. So the artist makes a small maquette. We we bring it to these different establishments, and they they enlarge the piece um, to whatever size, and it's a Basically, they use it for Hollywood a lot, so it's 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 developed over the years.